Hello and welcome back everybody. We are episode 2 now of our Duisburg save. Um, so, not much has really happened because it's only been a week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we, so to just recap, we ran out 5-0 winners against the second team. We played Hansa Rostock, who are in the division above us. I thought that would be a good test and a challenge to try to just see how we are level-wise and stuff like that. And we came out 1-0 winners, actually, uh, from an 84th minute penalty. I thought uh, we played pretty well in this game, if it wants to load. That's an awesome shot of the stadium. But if we see here, we really outplayed them for the majority of the game. I mean, the 1-0 win is pretty much what was deserved there, but uh, played really well. I'm really happy with how it all went. Uh, we good amount of tackles, very airily, pretty airily strong, which is nice, 70%. Good average rating, I mean... Played the main kind of guys, just trying to get an idea because I thought really test ourselves against this. And um, left back, we may not be as big of an issue as we actually are, in my opinion. Um, I know he's only played one game, which was against Hansa Rostock, but um, he got an 8.2. So maybe we're not going to be as concerned with some issues on things like that. But uh, the defense played well, which is really nice. And uh, Adami came off the bench to score. I don't know. Who else? Yeah, I, I tried to treat it like a, a real game. Uh, we also were looking at this guy, Meyer, who uh, we are actually sadly not going to pick up. I tried to offer him a contract, but he did not want to join for a acceptable enough wage. Um, but uh, speaking of people we want to join the club, the two positions I had earmarked, um, at the beginning were another central midfielder and a left back as I don't feel we have a lot of depth in those positions so you can see we have some trialists on the club uh, that's the finances I want this you'll see that so this is in essence um, the per one this this guy who we're offering a contract to he's actually a player who's played nearly 100 over 100 appearances for the club um, he looks pretty solid uh, I'm, I, in essence, really like him because he has the ability to play in these two positions. And he kind of is the only one willing to take a contract low enough. So, not my first choice, but not my last choice. So, he's solid. He's got some decent stats. I'm mostly pretty thrilled with the uh, mentals being quite solid. And uh, the reasonable left foot is pretty good. And he also knows the club. And on top of that, uh, Bacalors, he's supposed to be somewhat better than Bacalors, which is really nice since uh, Bacalors is legitimately probably our best midfielder, if not the best player on our team. So that's really good, but I think he's still probably better than the other guy. Um, and then uh, Albatat, who I probably have butchered that. Uh, but yeah, I think he's better. And then the other two, we I tried to sign this guy Hulk on a... Um, on a loan deal. I was looking for players who who wanted to join on loan. Um, in essence, I literally just... Uh, let's just fix this again. Uh, I, in essence, literally just did this. I just went, hey, who's a left back that's available on loan right now? And uh, really didn't put loads of effort in. Uh, we have our scouts assigned to get us some things, but it's a week, and they're not really going to be able to find me much in a week. So I figured it'd be worth uh, sending some of those guys on some focuses while we i just i looked on my own and so we came back with those with him hulk um i tried for um if we go to i forget his name if we go to ac milan my favorite team and we go to their he should be on their u20s this guy here milos kurzer mm, excuse me um so milos kurzer is pretty much just a, he, he, all right, so he in real life he's recently gone to AZ Alkmaar for around 1.1 million dollars he's very similar to the mold of someone like Teo Hernandez who's very forward thinking wing back really high up just constantly bombing down lots of pace lots of running and so he was kind of my first choice who I wanted but the problem is is Milan really wanted him to play in this wing back role and they'll if I took him in the wing back role um they'd let me get him for free. No money, nothing. I wouldn't have to pay a single dime. But they want money if I want him to play deeper at left back. 
And uh, that's a problem because we are not uh, going to be playing left back. We're, we're not, no, we're not playing him at left wing back. So he's got to play at left back, but because of that, they did not want to let him go for less than like $10,000, I think, total. The loan fee would have cost us plus his $5,000 contract. No, it's pretty cheap ways, actually, which is only 1000 So that would cost us a lot, which is not great. And we're currently going to be over. But Sandro Theller, who we have just picked, who not picked up, but I have offered it to, is the guy that I'm looking to get instead. He may not be as perfect, but... He's got good crossing. He's got decent enough bravery. Um, I think I'm looking for is he's got some pace here. He's, it looks like he's got some decent enough stamina. Um, to work well with the team is going to be really hard working, which should help us with the pressing game and how they can get forward. But the crossing I'm looking forward to in the first touch, I think are going to be pretty solid as well. Um, his corners don't seem to be great, but it seems to have decent enough free kick taking, so that could possibly be helpful for some balls coming into the box. But... We shall see. He's, he's, he looks decent enough. I mean, I'm not expecting him to be like the greatest player in the world, but he looks pretty good for what we would need. And in essence, that's kind of all we're going to bring in. Um, we are currently over the wage budget by around 4000 Actually, really like kind of like three, five. Um, But I, I there's a few players that are leaving on loan. These two guys, people wanted them, but they're I'm expecting them to play in the first team, so we can't really let them go. But... um. So there are two people. Why did I click on tactics? A squad. Um, there are going to be two guys that uh, we are looking to let go of. Um, so preferably these two. Uh, what are they? No, I don't want you. But these two are two guys I'm looking to get out on loan. Um, They're both loan listed. But it may be that we have to sell uh, Volkmer, if that's how you say that correctly. Uh, but uh, he is wanted by the team we're about to play in our first game of the season. So, and since he's wanted, and he's a 9K wage. So if we could sell him, boom, beautiful, zip, zilch, just completely set. We are totally fine. No issues or constraints uh, with the wage budget anymore. But I'd ideally like to keep him because he looks pretty decent and get out um, one of these lads instead. I'm hoping... Uh, for this guy since he is on 9k but uh, wage wise everybody's good except Bacalores who I'm really I, this is such a massive wage it's a big concern for me going forwards that it's we're gonna have to figure out what to do with it but otherwise I think we're in a good spot we've seen some people and plus I'd like to get if I could loan out two center X that would be the best but I think we're doing well. We're in a good spot moving forward. So for today's episode, I was thinking we would get in two games. Uh, we'll play the first two games of the season and finish out July. Or actually, I think what we'll do instead is we'll get in the first game of the season. And then um, I will skip ahead and uh, then we'll play our first game in the cup as that's probably going to be the most interesting one and then we shall return somewhere later in the season but um yeah i think that's going to be good for today so let's get into the game i've pretty much picked the team already a few trials ending soon um but no one really we don't have too much uh really to work with. <laughs> we have nothing to work with we have negative money because i've gone over um yeah that's someone we wanted uh, he's fine doesn't look that great this guy's a decent midfielder let's scout him fitness tests both are not going to make it i don't think i was expecting to play them anyway um all right so they want six changes tighter marking yada 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 i'm not sure i want to do any of those but you'll play a left back those two i'm going to play across the back line uh, the back line's pretty good. The midfield is, in essence, exactly what I want to do. Um, the team doesn't really know the tactic, so I'm not totally sure how we're going to play, just with that being still somewhat of a problem. Um, Budaboos, the front three is who we want. I don't think I really need... What what changes do they want? They want me to swap those guys, swap those two, and, uh, yeah, see, the, the computer doesn't even think he's good enough to play left back. They want me to swap those two? What? doesn't make any sense. He's not good enough at passing. 
Yeah, he's got he's not good enough at passing to play a deep lying playmaker role. Frey is generally good at passing and is gener and is a deep lying playmaker. Like genuinely it, that is just weird. I'm not sure why that's suggesting that. But I'm pretty happy with this lineup. I think everybody's fit enough to play they are. So let's go. Mata needs a number. I honestly really don't care. I'm not someone that really cares about numbers. I don't know. Some people I know some people really hate it when like say like a goalkeeper has like a high number or like defenders have high numbers. I could kind of care less. I kind of I it's whatever. Like you got a favorite number, favorite number. I played center back and my favorite number was 21. I would have loved to have 21, but to each his own. All right. I think that's our best team. Stoppel Camp is starting good. Interesting match for sure. Perfect conditions for a great game. So looks like we have some social groups. Um, just pump some fists. I want to be impressed. All right. We got one guy. Oh, three guys motivated. Sweet. One's on the bench, though. Okay. Um, before we go, I, oh, I hate it. Did, no. Come on. Um, we want just key highlights, normal match speed, during text, fastest, between highlights, uh, very fast, actually I think I want that, yeah I want that there, replay behind the goal, replay events, goals, disallowed goals, uh, going technology, and missed penalties, uh, we don't need clear cut catches, can't Clear cut chances, camera height, and director. All right, beautiful. We're all set to go. Let's give a nice everybody a nice encouraging shout to uh, start the game to make everybody feel good um, about this upcoming fixture. It is this concerns me if this is still a key highlight. Please do not tell me we concede in the first minute to start this save. This would be very, very, very annoying if this happens. Um, all right, plays it wide. Nope, just missed the tackle there. We're keeping the press going. Okay, good. Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 that that was really scaring me. That something was going to happen. That was bad. All right, so we got a free kick here. Stoppel camp plays it in. Velkov. Oh, just over the bar. All right, that would have been a lovely way to start the season early on. Uh, with a header. Alright. Um, looks like they're playing a 4 2 3 1. Um, their shape is alright. Just trying to look at a few things here. Yeah, focus of attack. Looks like we're we're going down the right a lot, which doesn't surprise me. Um we pretty pretty much actually sorry, no, they're going down the right a lot. We're going down the left a lot more. Uh, oh good. Fletch has got it back. Stein. Nope. Looks like they're going to try to counter us here. And they're going to just keep running wide? Alright. Make sure we cover these guys in the middle. Only looks like one guy in the box. Hopefully we can cover this guy in the back. Posts! We left a man wide open there. And thankfully we were covered. Back here is taking the ball forwards. Doesn't really have many options. Going to play it back to my unsure left back. Um, go up to back here again. It's going to keep driving forwards. Push. Push. I, I don't know how to say his name right. Frey. Great ball over top Frey. Back here. Can he finish? Can he finish? Oh, what a chip. What a goal. <laughs> what a finish. The first goal with such flair. Takes it up to the keeper and just the beautiful little dink over the top. Wow, that is, that is something else. The striker dropping deep, opens up the space, winger tucks in, and the chip over the goalie. Oh my. All right, that's, that's how we start this season. That is how we start this season. Let's praise them for a lovely goal. Looking good. All right, we got another chance here. Push on the ball again. It's going to play it to... Brush Schinder, which I think is her name. Push crosses the back post. No one's there. Oh, never mind. Picked up. Shot. Off the post. Oh. That would have been great to go and 2-0 up at halftime. All right. That's that's a great way to end the half. Nothing too much there, but that's an awesome one. So let's 
outstretch our arms very good first half performance everybody's looking happy that's awesome that's going to help really inspire them to come out in the second half anybody looking extra tired back here is same with push is looking extra tired so we may need to get them off earlier but no one is really struggling except uh quadoo quadoo i i think that's how you say it right um but we haven't had too much to deal with in defense so maybe give volkmir a shot i don't know this will work but maybe he plays against his team that, that wants to buy him and so maybe they then decide hey we want to buy this guy and he's played well against us maybe we'll put in a bid in a couple days so let's see we're back here with a corner to the near post oh <laughs> what is that four minutes on the field and a goal i don't know crap now he's scored now i don't want i don't know oh it's gonna be bad if i want to sell him now wait that's good he picks up a yellow card and a goal in four minutes of being on the field that is that's hilarious <laughs> one minute on the field of yellow card two two more minutes later uh th four minutes later he he gets a second goal that's great uh that's that's too funny another corner can we send it again to the near post oh this time it's cleared out that'd been great the same exact play getting us two different goals back here still got it though he's still going in all right he's gonna lay it off here to velkov Steerlin, I believe that's how you say it. Stop a camp on the ball now. It's going to go off to Flesher. It's going to drive to the. He's not going to get to the byline. He's going to cut it back to Steerlin again. Cut it in Stop a camp. <sighs> Hit that hard, but it was well blocked. Um, another chance here, it looks like. Trying to get this to the byline. Cut it back a little earlier. We're going to play it back to him. He's going to cross to the back post, but it's going to be cleared out. And they might be looking. Never mind. They're not going to try to counterattack. Let's control the ball well. Recycling. I like to see that. Getting it back. Never mind. We're going to go back inside. Volkmer's on the ball. Back here's on it again. Been so far the definitely the man of the match. Goal and assist. I don't think anyone can really say otherwise. Cross in again to stop. Oh, goalie's dropped it. And Stoppelkamp's there to finish. I'm not sure how he got an assist. I'm not quite sure about that one. That's interesting how the left back got an assist when the goalie kind of palmed that back. But hey, Stoffelkamp's got a goal. We've gotten three goals. That should be shut up shop for the day. Um, I think we can go and make some changes, get some players off. Uh, back here is looking quite tired. Let's get Mata on, being he's probably going to be one who we're going to look at pretty heavily. Anybody else really tired, it looks like? Everybody's kind of in fair condition. I think we can wait, possibly, till later in the game, but I think it might be good to get some people minutes. Um, I don't know, let's, let's wait and kind of see. Make another sub, possibly in a little bit. Um, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, I, just, I think we'll, we'll just we'll stay on positive I don't want to do too much I think we'll drop it a balanced maybe and um, we'll lower the tempo and add some time wasting to it and uh, I think we can put these guys on support so they are not as forward thinking but just a little more they can be a little more reserved and not exerting themselves as much so just to let everybody kind of rest and end the game on a nice easy note actually I had a, can we make five subs in this league that's a really good question hold on let me just check that if we go to the rules how many subs oh we have five subs oh shit we got five i thought we had three let's make some more subs shall we <laughs> we got some people tiring so let's get the right back on here Frey is tiring. I'm going to put you on. I can't pronounce your name. 3 4. And Stoppelkamp will get you off because you're on a yellow. And uh, I think that should be all our five. And now let's just try to see out this game. See it off to the end of it. Conclude a first game and a first win of the season in really great style. I couldn't, could not be happier. 
picking up some no more all right good no more elite yellows looks like this should end the game right here going going down the right side here but doesn't i don't think they're going to get much out of this we seem to have oh boy we seem to have had numbers back but no one picked up the man running through the middle but he kicks the ball way over probably into the second row and that's going to end the game great job by the lads here on the first game of the season really dominant performance it looks like not loads more of the possession they did have a clear-cut chance i'm surprised that that uh the one-on-one -on -one didn't count as a clear-cut chance for us i would have definitely counted that as one but 14 shots five on target a superior xg uh the front not the highest rating but uh the guys that came off on the front line really did have a much better one um yeah, the back line getting some good good rating. Goalkeeper, I don't think he had much to do with one shot on target. But hey, I'll take a 7.5 from that. They really seem to struggle. Their left back seemed to have a good game, though. Which is which is always nice. We had a much better average rating. The yellows um, might need to improve our tackle percentage. Would like to see a little higher aerial um, dominance from us. But overall, a very uh, I'm very happy with that. I'll stretch the arms. Nice work, everyone. That was a great performance, and everybody's pretty happy. A few people are not, but um, I'm really happy. I'm happy to see everybody doing well, and that's a great way to start. 3 0. Uh, you can't really ask for a better display. Um, yeah, you're disappointed. Uh, Ristic, who are you? Often back. Who, like, who are you there for? watching oh you what no I, I he no he can't leave that's weird on form great day from him let's praise oh uh, sorry game kind of lagging a little bit there. let's praise his performance really pleased great job he's happy with that and let's go into our first press conference let's start hope you're with that win i'm very excited um, the scoring just before halftime, a decisive moment in the context of the match, certainly made, wow, made my halftime time a lot easier. That's, that's it. All right. That's a great win. I'm really, really happy with that. And, uh, then we go into training. All right. So I am going to just pop ahead to our first cup game and I will see you back then. Hello. Um, so this is not the screen you were probably expecting, as uh, you were expecting the Union game, but um, this is post-Union game for me. Uh, that game took a long while. Very long while. Uh, so we're going to make that a whole episode. <laughs> uh, I'm So I'm now going to cut the video short, and I'm going to end it, and uh, say thank you guys so much for watching. If you are enjoyed the first episode so far, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm love for you guys to keep watching and following along we're really really excited how this is going so far results have been flying i mean we've gotten three nil and four nil won all our friendlies we're won five games on the trot i mean even if two three of them are friendlies but still clubs doing well awesome stuff so far so i'm really hyped and excited how it's going and i hope you guys are too and yeah it's absolutely awesome so as i said remember to like subscribe if you're enjoying so far make sure to tune in in the th for episode three where we do play the Union game and uh, we really, really take it to him. And uh, you guys are definitely going to be excited to see what happens in that game. But without further ado, I will say have a wonderful day. Good night or good morning, wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>